Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. Micro SD cards. We all know they can be fickle, right? They can crash. We also know that I keep telling you, make changes to your Pi-Star dashboard. Change that fire engine red to calm blue. Or make some other change to it. Go into that, uh, you know, place where you're not supposed to be and it requires a password. Well, what happens if you make a mistake and you don't know how to undo it? Well, why don't we make a backup? Why don't we clone our SD card? That way, if it crashes or you make a change to your PyStar dashboard, you can just swap out cards and move on. That's today on HOA Ham. So I'm a Bridgecom SkyBridge fan. There are certainly less expensive hotspots out there, but I consider this a premium hotspot. It was my first hotspot. Perhaps now I would be a little bit more brave to venture out and try to do one on my own, but I'll tell you right now, this thing is top notch. So I'm glad I made the investment. It works fantastic. Normally it's on my wall and I'll flash a picture in here. That's just how I have my shack set up. But for today's demonstration, I pulled it off the wall I attach it with Velcro. It's a real easy way to attach things like this into your shack just exactly where you need them to be. So we're going to pull the SD card out of this and we're going to put it into this USB flash drive which will go into our computer. All right, And this has an SD and a micro SD slot. So we'll put the micro SD card into this slot. We'll put the USB drive into the PC, and then we're gonna create a backup of the existing SD card that's in my Bridgecom SkyBridge, and then we're going to clone this new card. Then of course, it'll go in the case, and I will have a backup in case I ever crash, or I make a change to my dashboard that I can't undo, and I have to get desperate, and I go and I grab my clone card, or my backup. Let's do that now, let me show you. So first, let's power down. And in this case, you know, it's just an unplug. All right, here is my SD card hiding on the bottom side of my hotspot. Let's see if I can get that out. Wow, I didn't expect I would be able to get that out with my finger, but I was. Okay, now we're going to insert this into the drive. And the drive is configured in such a way that if you go in crooked, it'll let you know. All right. Now I'm in perfect. Now let's download some software to clone this. There are several programs you can use for this clone feature. I'm going to download and use the Win32 Disk Imager. This is a free download. Click the download button. You can see it here in the bottom left hand corner, the Win32 disk imager execute file is downloading into my downloads folder. That has completed. Let's execute that. Accept the agreement. This is going to tell me where it's going to load. I'm going to let it go into the default of program files on my C drive. Sure, let's create a desktop shortcut. All right, so it automatically brought up the software. So I'm now going to insert my drive into my computer. I am now going to go into my file explorer. I am going to click on this PC and now when I insert this drive, it should bring up the drive designator to tell me what it is. All right, here we go. So it is my F drive. So what we're going to want to do is come back over here to uh, Win32 Disk Imager. 
and we're going to make sure that we tell it that we want to clone the drive where our SD card is, and in this case it's F. Where are we going to image the file to? This is where I'm going to write it on my computer. So I'm going to write it to my documents and I'm going to call it my Bridgecom Skybridge Pystar clone image. Tell it, open. Now, tell it to read. So we've completed that process of uh, putting the image onto our C drive, onto the hard drive of our computer. It took approximately five minutes to do that read to the computer. So now what we're going to do is uh, eject that drive, pull out that card and put in a blank and do a write. Okay, so now I am taking a blank micro SD card and I'm inserting it into my flash drive. And now this is going into the computer. Let's take a look at Explorer. It says that it's Drive F automatically came up in autoplay. So Drive F is what we want to be writing to. back to the Win32 disk imager. This is the file that we downloaded into our hard drive on our PC. So we're writing to F, write, click on write, write data from image file to device. Yes, I want to continue. All right, now we're gonna be in a loop again. It says it's going to be, well, it's still thinking and calculating. We're up to nine minutes so far. So once again, this will either be cut out of the video or do, uh, put on a fast speed loop. So you don't have to uh, suffer the pain of watching this. Okay, so while that's copying, here's what we're going to do. We're going to insert the original card back into the BridgeCom. Here's my original SD card. Let's see if we get lucky on the first try of orienting it. Ah, I only have one direction I can go. Okay, it is correctly inserted once again. Now we're just going to verify that everything is working correctly, that I didn't screw anything up in the process of cloning the original file. All right, so we know this will take a minute to uh, go ahead and initialize. Let's, in the meantime, bring up our PyStar dashboard, which is just waiting for me to make some connection. I've got to call Danny, buddy. You're so good. Okay, we're good to go. So our original card is not corrupted, damaged, harmed in any way, shape, or form. So let's go back and see what the timing is on that clone that we're creating. All right, we have 21 minutes left. One quick note while this is writing to the new SD card, so you can see that I have this image on my C drive. It would be a wise thing to take that image and locate it somewhere in a folder in your C drive. So not only will you have a backup SD card, a cloned card that you can pull out at a moment's notice, but you can have this cloned image on your hard drive of your computer. And if you crash card one and you crash card two, or we have a typical SD card hiccup, You've got the image cloned onto the hard drive of your computer. You can always do another image of that onto a new SD card. 
we're at 97%. I'm going to uh, put some volume to the radio so you can hear that QSOs are going on. You can see that on the dashboard here in the backdrop of the video. Yep, here we go. Here's a QSO starting up. All right, so it's working on the card that I used to create the clone image on my computer. We'll swap these out in a minute with the card that is currently being cloned. We'll do it live so you can actually see that it worked. I am a Bridgecom affiliate. You can see I have the Anytone 878. I've got the SkyBridge. If you're in the market for any equipment from Bridgecom, if you click on my link, in the video description below. It will take you directly to their site. You will receive the same customer service, quality and pricing as you would by going direct. Just using my link allows me to get a small percentage of the sale so I can continue to buy equipment and put out helpful videos, which reminds me, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're finding this information useful. Okay, so the write was successful. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna exit from the Win32 disk imager. I am going to eject my card. I am now going to pull the card. All right, I have pulled the card. This is the new card that was just written to the USB drive. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, all right, you could, uh, you were just uh, witnessing that there was a cue, so here's a cue, so right now. All right, I'm going to leave the radio on. We're going to power down the hotspot. It's never going to leave your site. There is our card. That was the original card that we used for the image onto the computer. All right, no hocus pocus. There it is. No SD card in here right now. Here's the card I just cloned. Let's install this card. Card is installed. Let's power up. Turn your volume back up. And as well, you can keep your eye on the Pi Star dashboard in uh, calm ocean blue. All right, there, my. Hotspot did a reset. It's reading off the new card. Everything blanked out on my dashboard. That's a good sign. That's what we expect. Look at that. All my information is coming back up. I honestly don't know if I need to key back into uh, the talk group on my radio. I'm not certain of that, but what the heck, let's key in. All right, so it reads me, and that is off the new cloned card. Let's see if we can pick up anybody else just to confirm, and here we go. All right, Kilo Papa 4, Lima Romeo just keyed up to get into the group. Let's get somebody talking. Well, we'll do it. This is KD4BMG requesting a radio check. Just swapped out my SD card on the hotspot. Want to make sure it's working correctly. Over. KD4 BMG K7 CLJ. Everything sounds loud and clear. Very, very good signal. Thanks, K7 CLJ. Appreciate the feedback there. Just wrapping up a video, did a clone of uh, the SD card, so I have it up back up whenever uh, anything crashes or I screw it up. So thanks for that, friend 73. Have a great day. 
So that concludes the video for today, everyone. Again, I am always uh, um, suggesting we make improvements to our uh, PyStar dashboard, which means we get into the admin and the configuration. We get warnings. We have to put in passwords. And, and there's a reason for that, right? We want to be protected from damaging our systems uh, and we want them to be working properly. So do a clone, keep it backed up, have it in a protective case. If something crashes, you screw something up when you're in admin or configuration, not a problem. You've got a cloned SD card. Hope this was helpful to you. 73 friend, talk to you soon.